BS TV stations and both TV satellite networks, Dish Network Channel 9415 Free Speech TV, 9410 Link TV, and on Direct TV Channel 375. And we're video and audio podcasting at democracynow.org. Our headlines are also available in Spanish and transcript form. And an audio form for any radio station to take is over 150 R. So we turn now to discussions of high-profile supporters of presidential candidates. Many in the media have focused on Nation of Islam leader Louis Farrakhan and his endorsement of Barack Obama. During the pivotal Democratic presidential debate in Cleveland last week, MSNBC moderator Tim Russert pressed Obama on the issue. On Sunday, the headline in your hometown paper, Chicago Tribune, Louis Farrakhan backs Obama for president at Nation of Islam convention in Chicago. Do you accept the support of Louis Farrakhan? You know, I have been very clear in my denunciation of Minister Farrakhan's anti-Semitic comments. I think that they are uh, unacceptable and reprehensible. I did not solicit this uh, support. Uh, he expressed pride in an African-American who seems to be bringing the country together. Uh, I obviously can't censor him, uh, but it is not uh, support that I sought, uh, and we're not doing anything, I assure you, formally or informally with Minister Farrakhan. Do you reject his support? Well, uh, Tim, uh, you know, I can't uh, say to somebody that he can't say that he thinks I'm a good guy. Uh, you know, I, I, you know that, I, I have been very clear in my denunciations of him uh, and his uh, past statements, and I think that uh, indicates to the American people what my stance is on those comments. The problem some voters may have is, as you know, Reverend Farrakhan called Judaism gutter religion. I, Tim, I, I think uh, I, I am very familiar with his record as the, or the American people. That's why I have consistently denounced it. it, 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 it this is not something new. This is something that uh, I live in Chicago. He lives in Chicago. I've been very clear in terms of me believing that uh, what he has said is reprehensible and inappropriate, and I have consistently distanced uh, myself from him. Senator Obama, at last week's MSNBC debate in Cleveland, Ohio, the day after that debate, Republican nominee Senator John McCain received a controversial endorsement of his own. John McCain will be a strong, courageous, and effective leader from the first day he steps into the Oval Office. That was televangelist John Hagee. He is the founder of the Christian Zionist group Christians United for Israel, or CUFI. He is the senior pastor of the Cornerstone Church in San Antonio, Texas. Hagee's come under criticism for his controversial statements about homosexuality, Islam, the Catholic Church, women. In contrast with Obama's repeated denunciations of Farrakhan, McCain openly embraced Hagee's endorsement. When confronted about Hagee's controversial views, McCain said he was proud of Hagee and welcomed his support. Well, I think it's important to note that uh, John, uh, Reverend Pastor John Hagee, uh, who has supported and endorsed my candidacy, supports what I stand for and believe in. When he endorses me, it does not mean that I embrace everything that he stands for and believes in. And I am very proud of Pastor John Hagee's spiritual leadership to thousands of people. I am proud of his commitment to the independence and freedom of the state of Israel. That does does not mean I support or endorse or agree with some of the things that Pastor John Hagee may have sa said, nor positions that he have, may have taken on uh, other issues. What are some of those positions that John Hagee has taken? Well, here he claims God will send terrorists to create a bloodbath in America for its support of a two-state solution in Israel-Palestine. To give up more land for peace, Joel 3 and 2 says any nation that tries to get Israel to divide my land, I will bring it into judgment. I want those of you in the State Department and in government in Washington to hear this. If America does not stop pressuring Israel to give up land, I believe that God will bring this nation into judgment because I believe what this book says. And if God brings this nation into judgment, he will very likely release the terrorists that you've already let get here through the ridiculous immigration policy you refuse to stop. And this nation is going to go through a bloodbath that you have permitted because of what you have done. In an interview on NPR's Fresh Air with Terry Gross in September, John Hagee had this to say about Muslims and Islam. 
Islam in general, uh, those who live by the Koran have a scriptural mandate to kill Christians and Jews. Hagee's criticism doesn't stop at Islam. He's called the Catholic Church the great whore, a false cult system, and linked it to Hitler's Nazi movement. Hagee has even gone so far as to criticize the victims of Hurricane Katrina. In that same interview on NPR, he said the disaster was God's punishment for the sins of the people of New Orleans. All hurricanes are acts of God because God controls the heavens. I believe that New Orleans had a level of sin that was offensive to God, and they are, uh, were recipients of the judgment of God for that. Sarah Posner is an investigative journalist who's chronicled John Hagee's career in her book, God's Prophets, Faith, Fraud, and the Republican Crusade for Values Voters. She joins us now from Washington, D.C. Welcome to Democracy Now!, Sarah. Thanks, Amy. Thanks St for having me. Give us the background of John Hagee. When did uh, he uh, create this huge church in San Antonio, Texas? Tell us about Kufi. Well, his church has been around since the early 1970s. Uh, he actually started it after a previous church uh, went out of business, so to speak, um, after he divorced his first wife. Um, and he has built this church that he has now, Cornerstone Church, uh, to 19,000 members. Hagee preaches the prosperity gospel, which essentially says that God wants believers to be rich, that you believers can call riches into existence for themselves through their faith, and that you get rich by tithing to your pastor 10 percent of your income, what Hagee calls your first fruits, meaning pay him your tithe before you pay the rent, before you make the car payment. Uh, Hagee also, as you alluded to uh, in the opening, uh, is a Christian Zionist. He believes that uh, God foretells or the Bible foretells events in the Middle East that will lead to the second coming of Jesus. And he believes that all Middle East policy is dictated by this prophecy in the Bible. Um, and so he thinks all of these events are inevitable. He thinks that uh, the United States should militarily attack Iran uh, to uh, preempt its nuclear ambitions and that this is all part of God's plan to uh, to bring about uh, Armageddon uh, and the Second Coming. Can you talk about his attitude to Iran, Sarah Posner? He believes that Ahmadinejad is the next Hitler, the Hitler of the 21st century. Um, he believes that Ahmadinejad's goal is to wipe out Israel and the Jewish people, and that by not confronting Ahmadinejad militarily, uh, we are uh, enabling him like uh, Chamberlain enabled Hitler. So they make, uh, they make a lot of historical allusions to World War II. He often talks about World War III coming to pass. And he believes all of this, he finds all of this in his, in his Bible. He believes that everything in the world, be it a financial transaction or uh, foreign policy issues, are all animated by spiritual warfare, meaning war, spiritual war and actual war, between forces backed by God and forces backed by Satan. I was in San Antonio in 2006. Uh, it was the time of the night to honor Israel um, at the Cornerstone Church. I Can was you there talk? As well. Sorry? I was there as well. <laughs> Can you talk about who was there? and this combination of politics and religion. Just describe the scene for us. Well, there were obviously a lot of members of Hagee's church there, but also members of the Jewish community in San Antonio, um, former and uh, present uh, Israeli government officials, uh, prominent members of national Jewish organizations, and they all uh, converged on the stage at Cornerstone Church to what Hagee believed was, quote unquote, honor Israel. Um, and this included uh, speeches, um, uh, songs sung by uh, Hagee's Cornerstone Church Choir. They 